Hi there. Today I'll show you how I would go about making a wooden sign. I just made a jig to make sure that my wood won't would stay in place while I was routing it. Um, I'm told that it is ash wood, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what I did was that I just took this piece of wood and then I put the chainsaw to it and cut myself a slice and then I smooth it out with the head plane. Um, today we're gonna use paper stencils. Uh, the reason for this is that normally I would probably just draw the letters in by hand. I just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to do a project like this without being able to draw that well. So I just went to the computer and printed out some text and that's all there is to it. So all you have to do now is figure out how you want your layout and when you know how your layout is supposed to be. I prefer when I'm working with paper stencils I glue them on with wood glue and that's what you'll see me do here. Just ordinary wood glue then I'm sure that my stencil ain't gonna be all over the place when I start sawing it, at it, or in this case, using my router. And this is how my layout turned out. So, all done. Now we are ready for routing. On my router I have a little depth gauge that ensures that I'm not cutting too deep. I'm just setting it here, so I'm sure that's the depth I want. Now someone forgot to turn on the camera here, so you missed the first two letters, but <laughs> there's plenty of letters. It takes quite a while to do something like this, so... I don't usually use paper stencils when I'm using the router, so I was a little surprised to see how much that the router actually ripped the paper and did not cut it. It made it kind of difficult to see if I was rounding near the line, but it all worked out in the end and I think the result speaks for itself. And the fact that I had the camera in front of me didn't make it any easier. So it was actually a little bit more difficult than it, it, it has to be. And I would say that this is a project that anyone can take on. It's just a matter of tools. And of course, a good deal of patience. Uh, you can't rush a project like this. Uh, it'll just not turn out right if, if you rush it too much. I would say that it took me about an hour to carve out this uh, little text here. So just be patient and it will all work out fine. And if you're wondering, uh, this 
little sign here, the text, is actually an old mantra of mine. Now almost done carving, just three letters left, no problem.
and we are done with the carving part of it. Now all you have to do is remove the stencil. Uh, the wood glue makes it a tedious job, but it, it stays in place while working on it. The tool that I'm using here for removing the stencil is a paint scraper uh, designed for removing paint, so it actually works quite well for this thing too. And now we're ready for some sanding. Notice the coffee cup. Whoa, that was a close call. Well, let's sand a little. And there went the cup. And now we are done sanding, so just clean it up a bit. Looks like this. Now it's time to paint the letters so that they'll pop. This way you'll be able to read this sign a mile away. I decided that my lettering should be red because that's the color that I usually use on my thumbnails on YouTube. So I thought that this should look a little bit like a thumbnail. Unfortunately, the only red paint that I got was some acrylic paint. Uh, normally I would recommend that you use some more sturdy paint than acrylic. The good thing about the acrylic paint is that it is a fairly thick paint, so it doesn't seep into the wood as much as a, a thinner paint would. But a good way to avoid that discoloring by using too thin a paint would be to lacquer it before you paint it. You just need to make sure that your paint ad actually will stick on the lacquer that you're using. When I'm done painting these letters, I'll have to wait for the paint to dry and then I'll sand it again. And of course I forgot to turn on the camera so you didn't see me sand it or drilling the hole for the rope. I wanted a natural looking rope but I didn't have any so I used what I had.
Now brace yourself, it's just me moving around with the camera. I'm sorry about this. Now, that's how the sign looks when it's done. So, I guess there's not much else to say than if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.